I've been asked by many to describe the 17th century Spanish estate in which I lived in for almost two years and where I painted the bulk of the faces series. So we've put together this video and we're going to try to show you what that was like. But at the outset, let's just take a few minutes and look at some of the works. This is the Costa Blanca region of Spain, specifically the city of Alicante. We see here the Santa Barbara Castle, which overlooks the city, was once there to protect the city from moors and pirates and the like. The city itself is actually very old. This is Lucentum, a Roman city that existed here, set about 200 meters from the sea. And it was in this sort of valley between the mountains and the sea that I found myself living in a beautiful Spanish estate for almost two years, most of the time alone, and where I painted the Faces series. The property itself is about 10,000 square meters and the house boasts 14 bedrooms of various sizes from single rooms to very large apartment suites. And uh, here you see the citrus groves on the property, oranges, which came in very handy for fresh juice in the morning. Beautiful lush surroundings. This is the main entrance to the house, and just opposite is a church, which was a very common feature in these kind of estates that were built 300 years ago. The aristocracy tended to build their own churches on their properties. This is the coat of arms. It's rumored to have once belonged to a French general who was given the property by the Spanish king. Now just on the other side of the front entrance is this great hall. Looking through the hall down towards the other end, we see the exit to the patio and the stairs leading up to the apartment. Very grand space with uh, works of art, old and new, like my Harley, which found a good parking spot for itself there, as well as here on the patio and at times on the lawn by the pool. We are looking now towards the entrance of the Grand Apartment. And just inside that door in the hall, there's this wing just 
we're looking at it here, this is where I would take the paintings once completed to photograph them because it had a, the space plus a lot of natural light which I really wanted to incorporate in the photographs. And again, uh, just opposite the front entrance is these uh, pillars and then through these doors is the master bedroom where I actually painted the series. Sitting at the edge of the bed with an easel and uh, closing the shutters and the curtains and just working with the one natural light in the room. This is the living room. And I spent a lot of time here sketching and as well as working on my music. You can see there the grand piano and my guitar. A very large but still a very uh, cozy space. This is just another view looking at the far end towards the kitchen. And through the living room is this room which I called the gun room because it had uh, a lot of antique weapons. And uh, it's actually in this room that I would uh, cut canvas and uh, stretch it on the stretchers. We're looking out here towards the, the terrace from the kitchen where I would take my meals. This is looking into the kitchen from the terrace right through to the living room and at the far end the gun room. Again, the, uh, the terrace where I would take my meals. Now, when I first moved into the house, prior to living in the master apartment, I occupied a separate standalone wing, which we see here. This is the stairs leading up to the entrance of this wing. And this is where I first lived for about three weeks. And uh, in this space here is where I first started to paint. So from the terrace of the master apartment off the kitchen, you just walk over and you've got that standalone uh, apartment that I first occupied with its own terrace. And through uh, on that terrace you have some wonderful views of the mountains in the distance and the citrus groves that surround the property. Again, this is looking at those uh, little guest rooms in the patio area. And then we're panning from the master apartment terrace, looking down from the terrace on the other side, and you've got just beautiful, beautiful flowers and landscaping with some pomegranate trees off uh, that little walkway there as well. The master apartment occupied the whole of the second floor of the house. This is the patio again, looking down towards the far end from inside the house. These beautiful tall palm trees, this one overlooking the swimming pool where I would uh, spend a lot of time sitting on these benches here and uh, with my sketchbook in hand, coming up with uh, ideas. And uh, also, of course, on the hot summer nights when uh, I would be painting, it uh, definitely came in handy having that pool there to take a dip and cool off before going back to work. Again, is the front of the or the side of the house actually, and that's just about it. That's a little tour of, of the house and uh, a great environment to work. Very peaceful, relaxing, and uh, I feel that uh, a solid body of work definitely came out of it. So thank you for watching.